Oh, ladies and gentlemen, here we go with our final bout of the evening. Brought to you by our friends at KO Addiction and is set for eight three-minute rounds in the welterweight division. When the action starts inside the ring, our referee, Mr. Andrew Glenn. And now, let's meet our boxers. Introducing first, boxing from the red corner. Standing five feet nine and weighing in at 146.8 pounds. Tonight, he brings to the ring a professional record. 25 wins against 16 losses and 21 victories by way of knockout. Fighting out of Colombia, please welcome Luis Eduardo Flores. And his opponent, boxing from the blue corner. Standing five feet, eight and a half inches tall and weighing in at 149.5 pounds. Tonight, he comes to the ring with a professional record of 17 wins versus two defeats and 15 victories by knockout. Wearing the blue with the gold and fighting out of Agua Calientes, Mexico. Please welcome Jose Miguel Barrego. All right, we are set for our main event of the evening. This is scheduled for eight rounds. It is the welterweight division. Jose Boriego wearing the blue trunks with the gold trim. And you've got Luis Flores wearing black trunks with gold trim. All right, underway. Round number one. Going to be interesting, Well, to see who tries to take the play first. If I was a betting man, I think Borrego, you know, telling me what he told me, he's going to just throw a couple punches and start, you know, putting pressure to on his opponent. Well, he certainly has power. 17 wins, 15 of those wins by way of knockout. So you know he's gonna, he, can, he can punch. And he can easily be undefeated right now. Those two losses he had are very, very debatable. Mm. Well, certainly Flores, a veteran, probably pretty wily, pretty crafty in there. As we mentioned, Styles make fights. There's a left hook that lands on the side of Boriego's face. Didn't really move him too much. We've been talking about jabs all night, Will. I don't know how many jabs we're going to see from these two. I think they're just looking to get in there and scrap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see. Um, this is, uh... Oh, Flores, he's 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 staying busy, but his punches are too fat right now, and they're slapping. He's not getting any power, so Borrego is just getting a, a feel of, uh, of his power, and then sooner or later he's going to turn it on. Yeah, Borrego is a very patient guy. Mm -hmm. I mean, he came out quick, early, aggressive, but he's just not going crazy. He's, he's measuring as a fighter. He's more compact with his punches, and his defense is very good. He's lefty, but he fights. He, he says he feels comfortable fighting right hand, right hand. But right now he's southpaw. It's always interesting to see how opponents react to a southpaw fighter because of the stance. It can be very confusing. Mm -hmm. And you know what Borrego's doing? That's very, very intelligent. He's just giving him leg pressure. You know, just making him move. He sees that the guy wants to move. Okay, keep moving. I'm just gonna move my legs and put pressure on my legs and see what you have. Nice hook to the body and a quick right hand to the head. Scored for Borrego. He's a shot high on the top of the head. Counting down to 40 seconds here in this first round. Your main event of the evening. I love how Borrego um, is throwing that left hook to the liver. He's just placing it little by little. Not, not throwing, not throwing, really throwing real hard, but just, just touching him, see how he reacts. 
Yeah, that, those liver shots are debilitating. Yes. You get hit solid in the liver, you're going down. I don't care how tough you are. And that's the Me Mexican trademark right there. They it love is. that left hook to the liver. Yes, sir. Julio Cesar Chavez yes. made, a, made a career out of that punch, didn't Absolutely. he? Absolutely. <laughs> All right. We're both men landing here as we close out round number one. And there's a good look at Luis Flores. After 40 pro fights, he is not intimidated taking on a young puncher like Jose Borrego. He's coming to win. Well, he is. He's never thrown punches. He's not in there just to survive. He does want to win. That's, that makes a great main event. We get a look at our one of our ring card girls. The crowd here at White Sands has been enjoying this one from the opening bell. You. All right. There you can see. Nice hook to the body and a nice hook to the head. Those are probably the best punches of the round landed by either man. Borrego's being more compact. All right, Bob Alexander and Will Montero bringing you KO Addiction from the White Sands Treatment Facility in Plant City, Florida. This is round number two. You've got Jose Borrego and Luis Flores. I'd say that first round probably belonged to Borrego, but it wasn't really dominant. He, he landed a couple of clean shots, and that was probably enough to win in the round. I agree. I agree he landed the cleaner shots. Both men standing in front of each other and just content to let the leather fly. I need Borrego to stay busy. He needs to start using the jab. At least not, not even stay busy. He needs to start using his jab. Put something on the windshield. He also needs to be ready with his counters because that he had an opportunity right there's a nice left hook to the body. That's the one we've been talking about. I think I think Flores might be a little hurt here, Will. He's digging it. Um, excuse me, um, Borrego's digging those body shots. Now he's starting to boy, he, I guess he warmed up now he's starting to put work into the body. You know, you, you see a fighter starting to turn away from those body punches, that means he's hurting. Game, he's taking all kinds of shots. There's another, a right hook to the body that time. You got a, does he have an earpiece that I don't know that he's listening to you, Will, because he's doing exactly what you just said. Get in there and go to the body. Now he switched stance. He must see something. Continues to throw those right hooks out of the southpaw stance to the body. Flores trying to answer back, but not landing very much. Seems like Borrego has warmed up now, and he's coming forward stalking his prey. Slowly, slowly breaking them down. Well, you see Flores trying to answer back, but as you mentioned earlier, Will, most of those punches are arm punches. They're more slap than punch, and you're not going to hurt your opponent that way. Not at all, not at all. If the technique is not there, you're not going to generate any power. Nice left hand by Borrego as he continues to control the action here in this second round. We're down to 45 seconds in this second round. Scheduled for eight. Borrego looking for his openings. Throws the hook, misses. For for Eduardo Flores to oh, a good hook. Nice hook, and down he goes. Beautiful hook. And a follow-up hook to put him down. Referee Andy Glenn with the count. We've got 20 seconds to go here in this second round. Let's see if Luis Flores can make it through. That was a beautiful hook. It wow. was. And the follow-up wasn't bad either. The bell's going to save him. Well, it looks like uh, Borrego, I mean, sorry, Luis Flores lost his mouthpiece, so they have to clean it off and put it back in before they can get back to action. That gives Flores a little extra time to recover. He's going to need it. He is, because he is taking heavy, heavy level. Borrego opening up. Right hook. And at the bell, they exchange punches. And you can see Luis Flores is going back to his corner a little bit on the wobbly side. He's definitely hurt. Those body punches set it all up. Mm -hmm. You know, 
Just like a jab sets up the right hand, the hooks to the body can set up a left hook to put you down. You can tell Borrego is the more compact fighter. You can't hook with a hooker. Flores' left hook is coming from way too far, way too fat. So um, Borrego's got there quicker. That's where he landed that beautiful left hook. All right, let's take a look at this knockdown. You'll see that first left. So there it is. And his legs were gone, and he landed a quick one on the way down. He was not down oh. yet, so it was legal. You see the mouthpiece. And it was like a, a sh he slipped the punch. Slipped the punch and came back with the left hook and landed right on the button. Beautiful left hook. So an overwhelming round in round two for Jose Borrego. All right, here we go. Round number three from White Sands Treatment Facility in Plant City, Florida. It's KO Addiction. Jose Borrego is addicted to that left hook, throwing that left hook because he loves it. He loves he landing loves that, that body shot. Yes, sir. Just like a jab sets things up for the taller, rangier boxers, the left hook to the body sets it up for the punchers. Oh, there's a nice shot landed by Flores. Borrego just shook it off and <laughs> like it was nothing. But nice combination for Flores. It was. It was. Give him credit. Flores' game, he's standing in there and trading. He was just hurt, and he came back in the third round, and he's fighting. Well, we've never seen him fight before, Will, but I would imagine he's a, he's a puncher. He's a... He's a straight-ahead kind of fighter. He's not going to get on his bicycle and box. No, no, not at all. He's going to go out on his shield. Absolutely. I was thinking the same <laughs> thing. You took the thought right out of my head, brother. <laughs> Down to two minutes to go here in this third round. Borrego again being patient, trying to set up his shots. If Flores wants to weather the storm, he's going to have to get on the jab. He's the taller, longer fighter. You see him throw a combination, but nothing lands. And there's the counter. There's another counter left hand. Straight down the middle for Borrega. Talk about a friend, a friend, friend, uh, friend, fa uh, you understand what fan I'm trying to say. Friendly fan friendly, friendly fighter. It didn't want to come out of my mouth. Despite, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> fan friendly, there you go. There you go. We all have those moments, my friend. Down to 120 to go here in this third round. Borrega continuing to control the action, throws the uppercut and lands. Still looking to land one of those huge body shots and follow it up with a hook to the head. See, Flores is just walking in, no jab. He has to stay on the outside. He's letting Borrego just be in his wheelhouse. That cannot happen. Well, he's asking for trouble, that's for sure. You stand in front of a puncher like this, the outcome generally is not gonna be very good. There goes Borrego in the southpaw stance again. Throws that straight left, lands. Quick right hook, lands. And Borrego sees it. He, he sees it. He says, I'm keeping my punches nice and short. My punches are going to get there faster than his fat punches. Absolutely. Short, or wide, wide, his wide shots. Short and straight. Now there's Flores again landing a right hand, but it does nothing. There's nothing behind it. The body shot. 20 seconds to go here in round three. Borrega dominating the action again. Flores is game, but Borrego is on top of things. There's another left hand right before the bell. Landed flush, and Flores, you can see him wobbling a bit again. I see a bit of a different look on the face of Flores than I saw in the first round, bro. It just, you can see those punches are starting to take effect, and he doesn't have that confident look that he had right at the start of the fight. I totally agree with you. It's slowly, those body shots are debilitating. They're slowly taking something away from him each and every second he gets, or each and every time he gets touched with those powerful left hooks that Borrego's shooting down at him. All right, if you're in the corner with Borrego, what are you telling him right now? What do you want to see? He's looking good, but I need him, and I'm going to continue to say it. I'm going to continue to pray, uh, preach behind the jab, behind the jab. He's walking in with nothing. All right. We are set for round number four from Plant City, Florida. Jose Borrego in the blue trunks with the gold trim. You've got Luis Flores with the black trunks. 
Gold trend. Flores tried a quick combination there, but nothing landed. There's just a little adjustment both fighters need to do. Obviously, Borrego's winning this fight, uh, this fight clearly. But if you use your jab and work behind your jab, different things can happen for you. you know, we've seen that plenty tonight. Guys that use their jabs, they're winning the fights. But Flor Flores looks, looks he doesn't look uh, like um, shaky legs. He's, he's still working, he's still trying to win. Nice jab. to the body. Flores might be hurt now. There's another hook to the head. Oh, he hurt. Look, look, that hurt. look at Flores fight back. He was, I mean, his legs were buckled, and he came back and landed his best punch of the night. What a fight. Man, beautiful right hand by Flores. It was. These two are now going at it really toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Flores making it a battle. Now, Borrego may wind up winning this fight. But he's going to know he was in a fight, I think. Definitely, definitely. Under two minutes to go here in round four. But they go. was rocked momentarily, but now he's back to controlling the action along the ropes. There's that hook to the body. There's the uppercut. Another hook to the head. Another hook to the head. Combinations all over the place. And then Flores lands one of his own. He's fighting back himself. He needs to get off the ropes. He's square. He's definitely not going to gain any, any punching power from there. No, when you stand square in front of your opponent, you're just asking for trouble. you got to give him angles. But he's doing good off the ropes. Well, he's, uh, he is. He's landing a couple shots, but he's taking far more than he's landing at this point. I agree. Eventually, that could spell the end for Flores. But, man, he is tough. He is in there to fight. I'm not a fan of, of switching from conventional to softball, uh, right-handed to, to softball. But Borrego does it nice. He does it nice and smooth. Well, some can get away with it. You know, Marvelous Marvin Hagler was very good at that back in the uh, 80s and early 90s. But it's rare that a fighter can do it really effectively. And there you see combinations, and down goes Flores. That left hook to the body was beautiful. Flores answering the count from referee Andy Glenn. He says he wants to continue. And he might make the end of the round. We'll see. Borrego trying to finish things up. And Flores, as typical, fighting back after he's been hurt. Great round for Borrego, but what a tough guy that you're looking at right there, Luis Flores. It's really the, it's not just the body punching, but it's the combinations, Will, that's yes. making this such a good fight for Borrego. Mm -hmm. He throws steady, short, quick combinations. Meanwhile, Borrego is throwing one punch at a time if he tries to counter, but he's, there's no combinations there. Nothing behind it. And it, what I like is, like you said, the combination, but he, he starts off nice and slow, and then he just digs down to the body. Bring up those elbows, and then dig underneath them. Well, you see Borrego getting instructions from his coaches in the corner. We are halfway through this main event. Flores is so game. He is. I he love is watching well. him fight. I love both of the fighters. Well, they're, they're giving the fans their money's worth. Exactly. That is for sure. All right, here we go. Second half of the fight, round number five. From White Sands Treatment Facility in Plant City, Florida, Bob Alexander and Will Montero bringing you your main event. And it's been a good one so far. Jose Borrego stays steady, just throws the quicker, shorter punches, and they're just more compact. There's that hook to the body and the combinations to the head. Beautiful combination by Borrego. Borrego's still staying patient. He's not going crazy trying to, you know, get a knockout when it's not there. But I think he's smelling a little bit of blood. He wants a knockout. And the pressure just continues to come in waves. And then his combination and his body punching, complete fighter right now. Borrego on the move with a short left hand, another short left hand. Continues to land along the road. a big left hook. And Flores may be in trouble again, but man, he is so game. Yes, he Look is. Look at him fight back. 
That's a fighter, let me tell you. That is a fighter. I don't care what his record is. Now, Borrego, what he needs to do is get angles. He's landing, he's landing punches and stays right there, right in front of his fighter. Give him a different angle, because what is a fighter going to do? Oh, good. And there it goes inside, and down goes Flores. Again, he pops right back up, puts the mouthpiece in, and says, I'm ready to fight. What is this man made of? <laughs> Iron steel, take your pick. He is tough, tough, tough. Borrego puts him down again, and that might be it. Yeah, that's it. Andy Glenn is counting. No. So there goes Borrego again. Now one more knockdown. We have the three knockdown rule here in Florida. So one more knockdown, this fight will automatically be over. Now there goes the mouthpiece again. They gotta clean it off. It came out after that last knockdown. Hey, I don't even fault him with a left with a left hook like that. I was about to spit my mouthpiece out. I heard that. All right, can Borrego finish? We've got 50 seconds to go in round number five. If you were a betting man, where do you think his shot's gonna, his next shot's gonna be? Left hook to the body, left hook to the head. You know your boxing, Bob. I, brother, I bet my house on it. His right hand ain't bad either, I'll tell you that. Once again, Borrego is hurt in the corner. One more knockdown will end the fight. Can Borrego get it? He's got Flores hurt again, landing the combinations. Borrego just keeps on coming, taking shots. Left hook. I would not want to be Flores' ribcage right oh, now. Oh, let me tell you, he's got to be tomorrow. You talk about hurting. Oh, my goodness. He's going to make it out of the fifth round, it does appear. But boy, did he take a beating. Luis Flores could never be as glad to hear the bell as he just heard a second ago. I have to. I have to commend. I have to commend. All right, here we go with some of the knockdowns in that round. You can see Borrego, the left hook to the body, and that put Flores down as clean as a whistle. There it is, beautiful body punch. You just can't do it any better, Will. No, and I, honestly, I think in a fight like this, this is just my opinion, the corner should think about stopping it. They should save a fighter from himself because a true fighter is never, ever going to give up. You need to go into the business of being a mind reader. I was thinking, I swear, I was thinking the exact same thing. The corner has to be a little bit concerned about all the punches he's taken. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised and I wouldn't feel bad if they stop this fight very soon. But what a warrior Flores he is. is. Oh. There's no doubt about it. You just don't want to see him take unnecessary punishment. Agree. All right, here we go. Round number six, scheduled for eight. Jose Borriego in the blue trunks, black trunks, Luis Flores. Flores down twice in that fifth round. Borriego tried his best to finish the fight off, but couldn't quite get to it. Let's see if he goes back to the body. Yes, he does, right there. It's only a matter of time. I think uh, Andrew Glenn, a heck of a referee, is he just, is. he's watching real close. I think he's just, he's gonna save Flores from himself. Well, and Andy has a, has a great reputation of letting fighters fight, but when he thinks that there's too much punishment, he won't hesitate to stop the fight. I agree, but Flores is still he's throwing still, back. Yes. <laughs> it's amazing, this kid. He continues to take heavy letters. There's another left hand. He's hurt again. He's on the ropes. Andy Glenn looking close, but there he goes. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. No, that's it. Andy's seen enough. I think that was a great call. Great call. That was a he gave well, he gave Lewis Flores every chance yes, to fight back. And he did, but it was just too much heavy leather for yes. Borrego. And Borrego didn't even look tired no. at all. He could go easily 15 rounds if need be. He's one of those fighters that, you know, he's in shape. He could go all night. He's got that makeup. He is going to be trouble for just about anybody he gets in the ring with. Great performance by Borrego. Absolutely. I'm extremely, extremely impressed by him. Borrego moving his record now up to 18 wins, only two losses, 16 wins now by way of knockout. Who was the matchmaker for this fight? I'm guessing it was Nelson Lopez Jr. He's uh, he's the one that knows all the talent around here. All right, let's look at 
how this fight came to end. Here's that left hook right there. And you saw the body language. He's turning away. He's looking for a place to hide, and that's it. And it wasn't even a clean left hook to the body. The elbow pushed up against that side that's already sore. He's in it. Uh, he felt it. Yeah, it didn't take much, but no, uh, he no. did take plenty of a beating. All right, looks like that uh, Chris James has the official time, so we are set. Let's go to the ring and find out the time of the stoppage. count. Now you see Borrego heading over to join Andy Glenn. We're ready. Let's get the time on the stoppage with Chris James. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, the end of this bout comes at 107 around number six for your winner by TKL, Jose Miguel the win, gets the knockout, does what he wants to do, and a game Luis Flores.